Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Well, there it goes. Look at that. <laughs> well. <laughs> So far the part that has nothing to do with the rest of the video, but hi there! Today we're gonna take a look at World Server, a really cool plugin for those of you who are using Multiverse Core, as World Server is a plugin that allows you to separate your chat, tab list and economy. In other words, your Multiverse Core server will actually start to feel like it is a real bungee cord network. And when you're running multiple game modes on a single server, that's probably what you want. Now it is also extremely easy to set up and use and today I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. Before we start though, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like, also press that subscribe button, as a big part of people watching my videos are actually not subscribed. And my theory is that most people don't even know they're not subscribed. Because YouTube may push my videos on your homepage, but that means nothing. Even if you get my videos recommended every single day, there might be a big chance you're not subscribed to the channel, so do for sure check it out. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So before we're gonna set up world server which will separate our chat, tab list and economy, I want to tell you about this video sponsor, Phoenix Plugins. They're great plugin developers that have made amazing plugins like Phoenix Crates and Phoenix Lobby, as well as some awesome looking model packs. Check them out through the link in the description and use code KASASURA for a 15% off your order. Who doesn't want 15% off? It's a win-win! So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description that will take you to the SpigotMC page from world server over here you will see some information that is cool but i'm going to show you how it works anyway but something that is really important though is that this plugin requires villain it's a plugin that you will also need to have installed on your minecraft server otherwise world server will not work now if you also want separate economies you will also need to install vault so we're going to download world server i'm just going to click here on this link that will take me to the github page and over here you can just click on world server 1.8.0 or whatever version it will be in at the time you're watching this video it doesn't matter just click on the jar file and it will download then back here on this page we're gonna click on villip it will take us to this page and here you just want to click on the villip.jar file as well click and there we go and then we're going back to spigot once again this time we're gonna click on vault and here we can just download vault from spigot mc now i will leave a link to all of these pages in the description so that you don't have to look for them after you're done downloading all the files you want to go to your minecraft server folder Folder. In other words, the place where your Minecraft server lives. Then you want to look for the plugins folder and simply drag all three jar files we just downloaded in there. Just like that. Vault is already in there, doesn't matter, replace. And there we go. After doing that, you want to boot your server up, wait until it says done. And after that, you want to stop your server again. Now let's open our plugin folder. Then you want to look for world server. Here it is, the world server folder. It should now be created. So we're going in there. And then you should see a file called config.yml. Open it up, and in here we will be able to change some settings. So auto updater, just keep it on true, and bam, <laughs> here we are. So groups, it's an important part of this plugin. Let's say you're running a Skyblock server, an SMP, and a minigames world. Just saying something. Then your SMP server will have an overworld, a nether, and an end. Your Skyblock server will probably also have an overworld, a nether, and an end. Now of course you want the tab list and the chat to be the same inside of all of those worlds. So I actually don't have skyblock installed on here but let's say i would then i would put in skyblock then i would put in skyblock nether or whatever your world is called and then over here it would be skyblock the end just like that. So now these three worlds will still share tab list and chat. Now below that we got the option tab enabled. So when it is on true, players not in the same world will be hidden and false every player will be visible. In other words, when we put it to true, all the worlds will have a separate tab list. Except for these of course, because we put them in the group. Then down there we got chat enabled. When it is on true, players not in the same world can chat with each other. Except of course, if you put them inside of a group. That basically bypasses this option. Now down there we got the global chat enabled. When it is on true, players will be able to talk in global chat using a prefix. So you will still be able to talk in the global chat, but then only when putting a prefix in front of the chat you're sending. I will show you how that works in a bit. So the global chat prefix, the prefix for global chat. This is used to be able to talk in global chat, blah blah blah. It is currently an exclamation mark if you want to change it into something else, for example, a question mark then that is possible so 
let's do that just for fun then here we got the global chat format so it will actually say global in front of the chat you're sending after that it will say your player name in white and then it will say your message if you want to change anything about this format you can do that here so if we don't want it to say global but uh, uh subscribe <laughs> then that is possible okay next one spy format it will be a command the administrators can execute to see all the messages in all the worlds so basically bypassing all the settings we put up here now if you want to change the format that your administrators will see that spy chat in you can do that here then we got the regular world chat format i'm just gonna keep it the same but this is where you can change it chat cooldown so if you want players to only be able to talk like once every 60 seconds then this is where you can change that then the chat cooldown format basically the chat saying hey you need to wait for a little longer. Then we got blocked words, the chat blocked format, chat join format, clear chat on switch. So when you switch worlds, will it completely clear your chat? You can disable or enable it here. Then the economy, should it be enabled? Yes or no? And economy global. When it is untrue, the economy will be shared across the entire server. If you don't want that, leave it on false. We also got a very handy feature, which is the economy switch notification. So every single time a player will switch to another world, they will get a message with their their current balance you can of course also format that here you can give currency symbols there is actually a lot of stuff you can change in this plugin it is pretty cool now the rest here i won't be going over it is not that interesting just some formatting settings nothing too crazy i'm just gonna save the file and after that it is time to restart the server and here we are i just joined the server and the message you will see all the way at the top you now have one dollar that's great <laughs> so it is already giving me my currency now on the server i only have three worlds i got a normal overworld a nether and an end so my tab list and my chat will be separate in all my worlds so if i now give myself a, a big amount of money let's do eco give kasai sora i'm gonna do uh, this amount let's do balance there we go <laughs> that is exactly what we want great so now in the overworld i will have this crazy amount of money now when i do slash mvtp world nether so i travel to the nether world oh no not again this happened in the previous video as well but you can see it will now give me a message you only have a single dollar so separate economies now it is that i'm currently the only one here on the server but my chat will be different now so my chat will be different from the chat i saw in the normal overworld now i did talk about a global chat earlier if we want to say something in the global chat then you will need to use that prefix so before it was an exclamation mark now it is a question mark so question mark and i'm gonna say hello everyone bam and this is what your message will look like so subscribe <laughs> usually it should say global here as in you're using the global chat and then kasasura and then your message so hello everyone nice it's working so this chat i sent here only the people in the same world as you will be able to see it and this chat down here everyone on the entire server will be able to see it i would say that's pretty cool stuff and then guys that's gonna be it i really really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would if you do have any more questions make sure to leave a comment under this video or join casa Soros official discord server link will be in the description also don't forget to check out phoenix plugins link will also be down below and then i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>